Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll tell you how to implement mod 10 up counter as well as down counter using IC74LS191. I will also tell you how to implement mod 16 counter, mod 16 up and down counter using IC191. So before we start actual implementation, let's understand what IC74LS191 is. So this is synchronous counter. So single external clock is connected to all flip-flops which are present internally. This is binary counter. 4 bit binary counter. So it has 4 outputs Q3, Q2, Q1 and Q0. So maximum it will count from 000 to 1111 in up counting mode. In down counting mode, it will start counting from 1, 1, 1, 1 and it will count till 0, 0, 0, 0. So, same IC can count in upward direction as well as in downward direction and that is why up down pin is given. Up bar slash down. So, wherever bar is present in digital electronics, you need to remember this input or output is active low. So, your meaning of this is U bar D. It means if this is 0, it will count in upward direction because up is active low. And if this is 1, then it will count in downward direction. Downward direction means maximum value to minimum value or 2000. Then this is clock input. Of course, this is counter. So, it will count clock pulses. This is enable. Enable bar. Again, this is active low. Enable pin is used. You can say like this is used to turn IC on. So, whenever enable is connected to ground, then only this IC will work. Otherwise, it will not work. Then, of course, it has ground and VCC. Then, it has inputs P0, P1, P2 and P3 so that we can load data parallelly. Then, it has four outputs Q0, Q1, Q2 and Q3. Here, Q3 is MSB, Q0 is LSB. P0 is LSB, P3 is MSB. So, here Q0 is LSB and Q3 is MSB. Similarly, P0 is least significant bit and P3 is most significant bit. Then, it has three more uh, terms. PL bar that is parallel load bar. It means instead of starting counting from 0, 0, 0, we can start counting from any number. Let's say 5, 4, 3. That number you will have to apply to input side. And by this parallel load pin will load that data into this IC. So, this is PL bar. It means if this pin, this is pin number 11, if parallel load will receive 0, PL bar is equals to 0, then it will load data. If this pin will not receive 0, it means if it is connected to VCC, it will not load any external data and our counter will count in normal mode. Like in up mode, it will count in upward direction. In down mode, it will count in downward direction. Then it has two outputs, terminal count and ripple clock. So here meaning of this terminal count is, this is TC bar. Again, this is active low. It means... It will display output 0 and when my counter will reach to its maximum value. So, in up counting mode, maximum value is 1, 1, 1, 1. Then, this terminal count will become 1. In down counting mode, maximum value is 4 times 0. Then, this terminal count will become 1. Otherwise, it will remain 0. So, this indicates terminal count. Then, we have pin number 30, 13. Ripple clock. So, ripple clock output is used for cascading multiple IC74191. When we want to uh, cascade multiple ICs, we use this ripple clock pin. So, when terminal uh, count is high, when this terminal count is high, it means this counter will reach to its maximum value. And when this enable is low, then this ripple clock this ripple clock output will follow the clock input and it will propagate clock to next IC. 
so these are pins of ic 74 ls191 so when we are not cascading to uh, 191 ics then we keep these two not connected rc bar and tc bar are not connected these are inputs these are outputs see it is very easy up down as per our requirement in case of up counting what will do in c if i wanted to implement 16 mod 16 up or mod 16 down then in that case we are not going to load any parallel data so we will keep p0 to p3 not connected because we don't need any external data and we will connect this pl bar pin to vcc so that it will not load any external data and in case of up counting mode we will simply connect this to ground and in case of down counting mode we will simply connect this pin number 5 to vcc that's it to implement mod 16 you will have to connect pl bar to vcc and up bar slash down as per our requirement for up counting to 0 for down counting to 1 other things will remain as it is these two not connected clock here we will apply clock enable and ground are connected to ground pin number 16 to vcc inputs are not connected now let's see how to implement mod 10 up counter and mod 10 down counter mod 10 it means it will count from 0 to 9 that is four times zeros to 100 one this is our up counter as this is our up counter i will simply connect this pin to ground up bar slash down i'll connect it to ground here i'll not connect p0 p1 p2 p3 anywhere or i can connect them to 000 because i want to start my counting from 0 so i'll connect p0 p1 p2 p3 to 0000 or ground then see these are my outputs q0 q1 q2 q3 this is my clock input for every pulse clock my output will increment by 1 so my output will come up to 9 after 9 i should get zero output because this is my mod 10 counter so it should count up to 9 only i should not get this 10 at the output side so see when i want normal counting my pl bar must be connected to 1 so here it is connected to or it will receive 1 as soon as this pl bar will receive zero here it should receive zero so that it will load data parallelly what will happen here as soon as this number becomes 1010 then pl bar will receive pl bar must receive or should receive zero so that it will load 000 and instead of displaying 1010 at the output it will display all zeros at the output and again it will start counting from 000 so what i can do is i will choose the output pins which are one so here q3 is one and q1 is also one and i will connect them to input of nand gate so that when q3 and q1 both of them them will become one output of nand gate will become zero see remember truth table of nand gate when both inputs are one then only output is zero and then this pl bar will receive zero and it will load data 000 so that our output will become 000 after this nine so that it will count from 0 to 9 0 to now nine now you may say instead of using nand gate we can use and gate and we can connect q0 and q2 so in and gate when both inputs are zero then also output is zero but see we can't do that because for eight also q2 and q0 is zero here also both of them are zero but in case of one q3 and q1 both are one only for 10 and c for 11 12 13 again they can be one both of them can be one but these number will never come because after 9 again it will go to zero after 9 again it will go to zero so you just need to remember whichever counter you are implementing you need to identify in case of mod 
14. What is binary equivalent of 14? Triple 1, 0. So here you need to connect Q1, Q2 and Q3 to input of NAND gate. So that when all of them will become 1, then output of this NAND gate will become 0 and PL bar will load data parallelly. 14 means 0 to 13. We will get normal numbers and for 14 it will show us 0. So in this way you can implement mod 10 up counter. Now let's see mod 10 down counter. Down counter means it will start counting from 1001 0, 0, 1, that is 9 to all zeros. And I am counting in downward direction. So what I will do? I will connect this up bar down pin to VCC active high. Then I wanted to start counting from 9. So what I will do? I will connect or I will load number 1001 0, 0, 1 here. So I will connect P3 to 1, P2 to 0, 0 and 1. Parallel load. Now C. My counter will start counting from 9, then 8, then 7, 6, 5, 4. For every clock pulse, count will decrement by 1. And my PL bar should receive 1 here. So counter will go up to 0, 0, 0. As soon as, as soon as, after 0, 0, 0, where it will go? It will go to 15. Now you will say why 15? Because see, in case of down counter, for maximum count, 15 to 0, 15 to 0. So, after 0, 15 comes. So, as soon as this number becomes 15, counter should not display this 15. PL bar should receive 0. So, that when PL bar will receive 0 here, at this stage, this stage, this 111 should not come. So when PL bar will receive 0, it will stop counting and it will load this 1001 here. So instead of 15, what will come here? Here it will come 1001 and then again it will decrement by 1. So to get 0, what we need to do? We need to connect Q3, Q2, Q1 and Q0, all of them to input of NAND gate. So when all of them will become 1, then output of this NAND gate will become 0. This PL bar will receive 0 and as soon as this is active low. So when it will receive desired input that is 0, it will load data parallelly. So see down counter implementation using 191 is very easy. This circuit will remain same for any modulus. Only this number will change. Up bar down to VCC. These two not connected, ground pin to ground, VCC pin to VCC, clock pin will connect external clock here, enable bar to ground. And suppose I wanted to implement mod 12. Mod 12 means mod 12 is 0 to 11. Binary equivalent of 12 is 1, 1, 0, 0. So what I'll do, I'll simply connect 1 here. I'll connect P3 to 1. P221 and P1, P0 to 00. This circuit will remain same. So in this way we can implement down counter and up counter using IC74191. You need to remember this is synchronous counter. It means single external clock drives all flip flops. Here you can say I have 4 outputs. It means internally 4 flip flops are present and P0, P1, P2, P3 are inputs to those flip flops. Then this is binary counter because it is counting from 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1. And this counter can count up to 16, mod 16. Total 0 to 15, 16 clock pulses it can count. So if you like this video, press like button. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.